What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. Gonna have a little bit of a disclaimer here guys. There's quite a bit of traffic here on the road. There's people coming back home from work. It's between 5.30 and 6 o'clock at night at the time I'm doing this video. Uh, today is September 12th of 2024. So kind of getting into the fall season. It's been a great couple of days out here. The weather has been really, really nice. I figured it's time to get to the sod rod, the John Deere X300, and get this kind of going on here. But if you guys hear road noise, I apologize for that. There's really nothing I can do. I can't tell the people to stop and stop on the uh, side of the road here while I do a video. Anyway, guys, let's get to this, uh, the John Deere X300. Uh, there was a couple of uh, issues with the tire here. I had someone plug the tire and I had someone put a valve stem in it. So there was kind of two issues with the tire. I came out here uh, last week and I found that uh, the tire was low. So I took the tire off, tried to get it to air up. There was a huge leak into the stem. I took it to Walmart to have them put a stem in it. That was $18 right there to put a stem in it. I probably could have done it myself, but I've messed around with tires before, and I'm not really good at doing uh, putting valve stems back in tires. So $18 later, put it back, and I said, all right, ready to go here. Put the tire back on, put some air back in it. I seen it held air, and I heard a little leak. And I'm like, well, where in the heck's the little leak coming from here? Come to find out, it had a little pinhole leak somewhere on here. The, the guys didn't put the tire back up, so I'm going to have to re uh, air the tire back up. Anyway, they put the plug in it. 20 bucks later, we're ready and we're good to go here. So I put the tire kind of back on here and I fired it up. I figured, all right, I'm ready to go. Put all the clips back on here, fired it up. Uh, so went to press the pedals here because this has forward and backwards pedals, at least for this, uh, this model of John Deere tractor, wouldn't go anywhere. So I'm like, what in the heck is going on with this thing? Come to find out on a little YouTube video, which I'll go ahead and I'll put a card up here for you guys if you guys want to watch that video. If you guys have a, a type of tractor here that has the same thing, there's a little key in it. And we'll get to the key here in a little bit later into the video. But this is a keyed axle on here. So if you don't have that key and you put the tire back on in the axle, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna, it's just going to sit here and maybe kind of lurch forward, maybe just a touch. And you're going to be like, well, why am I kind of staying here? Forwards, backwards. You're kind of messing with stuff. I was messing with everything on here to try to get it to go forward. I couldn't figure it out until I came across that YouTube video. Just said, hey, it's a five-minute fix. You put the key right back on here, and boom, we're done and off and right, right uh, off to the races here. So I kind of want to bring you guys along. If you guys have this kind of uh, kind of have this issue, it's real easy. I was, I was kind of dumbfounded how easy this was and kind of embarrassed a little bit, only because I didn't know the tractor all that much, so... I want to get you guys in here. We're going to put this uh, the tractor tire back on, the lawn tractor tire back on, and I'll show you guys what the big issue was or the root cause of why the tractor wouldn't run. All right here, guys. So you see the little opening kind of right in here. I'm going to kind of come right down into here. The little opening there. That is for a key. That key goes onto this axle here, and I'll kind of show you where this key is. I got a couple of tools out here already. If I can find where it's even at here, if I... Or did I even put it in here? Yes, I did put it in here. So this key right here, guys, goes into that axle and goes into the tire to make it rotate. Like I said, it was an easy fix. I was really dumbfounded about when I found this out here. So let's get down there. Let's get the tire on, and I'll show you how all this comes together. So this key comes up. I'm going to put it right on the axle. I'm, I apologize. There's freaking mosquitoes got everywhere here. So let me put this guy right back up and on axle here. I can even get it on the axle. I'm laying, kind of laying down here, there we go. So, there's a key right here. I'm gonna swing you guys around here, hold on. So as you guys can see, there's this uh, there's this kind of keyway right here and that key has to line up with that keyway here. So I'm gonna turn, the, turn it just a little bit so I can bring it right up and in here, there we go. I'm gonna come back up to here. So now I'm just gonna put this key, line it up. Come on, sometimes it's, I'm an idiot, there we go. Wiggle it around, bingo, right in there. So as I go ahead and rotate this tire, you should see that other tire move. Now before, if I was just doing this tire here, that tire over there wouldn't rotate. And that's why it wouldn't go back and forth or anything. So, and this, the other one does have a keyway too, just a little FYI for you. So I'm gonna turn this, oops, there, see the other one turn now? Before it wasn't doing that. So we're good to go here. All right, here, guys, I got two little washers on here. If I can come right up here, and I got a dust cap to put on. So the first one, 
It's gonna be this guy right here, this little washer. Second one, this washer. If I can get it on there, some. There we go, got it. And this third one is this kind of this little kind of lock ring washer. I'll, I'll, I'll be completely honest, I really don't know what this is. But, put it right on here. I think that's on, isn't it? Nope. Not on there either. <clears throat> I had I had trouble with this the last two times on here. Let me turn the camera off here, guys. This should just slip right on here. So let me go ahead and I'll clip this guy on and we'll get right back at it. All right here, guys. I got that clip back on here, that external retainer clip. 69 cents at the local hardware store. I don't know what they used to be, but... <laughs> Ugh, a 70 cent problem caused 45 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes of frustration. Well, guys, after messing around with that external clip for about half an hour, ended up, I went down to the hardware store, grabbed some more clips, put the clip on there, and boom, and we're off to business. Now, it's almost 7 o'clock. The sun's starting to get down here. I really don't know how much more, <laughs> how much more, uh, sunlight that I've got here. I'm going to try to get the front lawn done, get get a couple of things done here, but three things that I had to get. Had to get a, a valve stem, had to patch the tire, and I had to get an external clip, which was 70 cents. So all together, 18, 20 is 38, we'll say $40 all together to get this, get this thing going up on here. Now, I think that external clip, I noticed that some of the, ten, the ting, or the, the tings, some of the uh, lips or the kind of the, I, I don't know if you guys know what an E-clip looks like, but it kind of has some wings on it. I guess that's what it is. The wings, they were probably either probably too far out. And I noticed that they were war on the sides here. Somebody has been on with that on and off here for some time on here. Cause it looked pretty new. And that was even after all the times that I was even doing it. So I don't know if it, if it kind of just expanded out, they, the ears of them got broken off. I really don't know what it is. It kind of all came to came to fruition with this uh this lawn tractor but it's been a, been a pretty good lawn tractor for me um the other one is kind of sitting in there we'll get to that one next here i got all the parts for that i got the idler pulley i got the idler bracket and i've got a uh, i got a brake puller a brake plier puller i think that's what it's called i can't remember i'll have to look it up it's inside the house here. i got to bring it out here what we're going to do is we're going to get the, the lawn deck done taken care of and put it on the troy built lawnmower here guys all right guys i hope this was informative i hope it was uh something that you guys can tackle on your own i could do it frustration got in the way again here as it always does um nothing ever goes my way here guys as, as long as you guys see me fighting and doing stuff like this nothing ever seems to go my way it's other parts runs things like that it's parts that are kind of wore out all that kind of stuff and that's how it usually goes with me in projects here so Give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Give it a thumbs down if you do not here, guys. Also, make sure you hit that bell notification and that subscribe button so you guys get more videos just like this one. I'm going to try to get some lawn mode here, uh, at least kind of the front part of the lawn here. All right, guys, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.